This tutorial is about the unfurling mechanism. It's a quite an unusual little mechanism that I took from this book by David Pelham called The Raven. Really fantastic book, really beautiful illustration and very clever pop-ups. So I'll just run through it so you can see just how great it is really. And then I'll explain the unfurling mechanism at the end. These are the spreads. So this is the unfurling mechanism. This is the one I'm going to explain in this tutorial. And then this is the, the end of the book. This is the unfurling mechanism. I think the best way to understand it is to look at it from behind. You'll see that the whole thing is powered by a V-fold in here. And the V-fold is the type of V-fold where the angles on the V-fold are the same as the angles on the page. So when the page is flat, the V-fold lies flat. The V-fold is extended up and there's a piece that pushes up the back of the fingers. Easiest to show you on this one that I've made. So I'll put that there. So here it is. This is the V-fold. This will be the front of the hand. This is the piece that pushes up the fingers. It pushes up at the back here and the, the finger is actually hinged on the top of this extension to the V-fold. So as it opens and closes, you can see how that works. In the book, rather than there just being one flat level here, yellow, as I've made, there's a whole series of different heights for the different fingers. So if we look at it sideways on here, there's a whole lot of different heights, all different shapes, but all pushed up by the, the piece that's pushing it has all these different levels and the piece that it's pushing against has different levels. So if, when you look at this, it would be really the yellow piece would have different levels and also the red piece would have different levels. But I've just made one to make it clear so you can understand it. So now I'll make one. I've cut out all the pieces in advance, so I'll explain them all. They're all quite simple. This is the base sheet, folded in half, folded really thoroughly. This is the V-fold. Both these angles are 45 degrees. I haven't creased it yet, I'll just crease that now. So that's creased really thoroughly. If we look at this, you can see where it's positioned on the page. So that piece is going to be the V, it will be near the, the top of the page, pointing down it, something like this. Looks about right. So I'll just put the glue on there. And as it's flat, when the pop-up is flat, you can glue both sides at the same time. So I position it on there, make sure the central crease of the pop-up is aligned with the central crease of the base. Stick it down. Fold it shut just to make sure that everything's working smoothly. There we are. So now you'll see that this yellow piece is stuck to one side of the V-fold. So here's the yellow piece I'm going to add on. And you can see that that yellow piece is glued to one side of the V-fold. So here's the yellow piece, that low yellow piece, and it's going to be glued to this side of the V-fold. Make sure the corner is right in the corner, otherwise, well, it, obviously it won't, won't close properly. So I'll put some glue on this triangle here. bit too much glue there. I'll just give it a moment to dry off. I'll close it, make sure it's working. And give that a minute. Now the second piece, this is a piece here with the slot in it that the red piece goes through. So that's going to go on here. The slot is going to be just above the level here. 
you could probably make it all out of one card, but I think it's also quite good to keep it tough, so it's several thicknesses. So I've marked the slot, it's going to be parallel with the crease at the bottom. I'll just cut it out. Okay, that slot needs to be just above the top edge. And I'll just glue that one on as well. Right. Again, I'll just close it, make sure it, it all works. This is obviously a dummy. You can see it's sticking out of the edge, but it doesn't matter. It, it's just explaining the mechanism. So there we are. That's moving like that. Now the red piece, this is going to be pushing up the whole thing. This is what actually makes the mechanism move in the way it does. So here's the strip I've made. It's got a crease down the middle. I'm going to glue it in a minute, but first we'll just make a tab at one end. So I'll cut a little piece off there. So that's going to be a tab that's going to glue it onto the page. Now, if we look at this, you'll see there's a tab at the bottom. In the book, this red piece is all made in one piece. But because of the complications with measuring and stuff, I'm going to make it out of two pieces. This piece, that the piece that comes up, that needs to be the same height as the total yellow. So now, having made the tab on one end, I just need to measure how high the whole thing needs to come this time. So I'll just mark that. So that's flush with the bottom. This is where the other tab is going to be. So I'm going to cut that to make a tab on it. And cut that off. Right, so this is going to be the other tab. Now I can glue the two sides together just to make it a really strong pushing strut. There we go. And just while that dries, you see here, because I've made this red piece out of two pieces, I've put a little hinge on the top of the yellow that so you can attach it all. So this is the hinge, it's just a small piece with a fold in the middle. Needs to be lined up with the slot. Put a bit of glue on that and that's going to go there. Okay. Now we're going to thread this through. This is going to stick down it's going to go up through the slot and stick down in front of the whole thing in line with the hinge I've put on. So I'll just put some glue on that tab there. Stick it down. Just make sure that's all still working nicely. Looks as though I'm slightly off up there. Pull it straighter. Now, when the, when the base is flat, this is the whole finger is flat. So I'm going to make this flat. This is the piece I'm going to add on. It's going to stick onto this and this. Let's close it down. So this is going to stick on there. And there. I'll just put glue on the two tabs. This top one on the red, that should be pointing this way. When you add the finger to it, the end of this strip goes onto that crease as it lies down. You can see it's going to be too long. This is going to come down here, so I'm going to trim some of that off immediately and then fold this down and that you can see I'm actually slightly off there 
So now you can see this is unfurling. Possibly it's still slightly long, tending to dag into the page a little bit, so I could cut off a bit more. Might help. And it. So this is the this is the unfurling mechanism. And if you want to make multiple fingers, like in the hand, then you can make the yellow at lots of different levels, and you can make this red piece that's pushing up at lots of different levels. The other clever thing with this book is this mechanism is hidden in David Pelham's design. So I'll just show you how he's done that. When the page opens, you see that the hand is actually holding a locket. And so actually, this locket is attached to the top of the yellow up here and it slides up and down. This is a separate piece. So if we lift that up, you'll see that this piece with the thumb is one piece and this is another. So the locket actually hides that. So in effect, there's one piece stuck on here that's coming up and there's another piece stuck on here that's coming down over and hiding it. I'll just make that so you can see how it's hidden. I'll make that with a different colour. I'll make that with some green. So, and I'll just make it very basically. So, so this is going to stick onto the red piece there. Put a bit of glue on. That sticks on there. And now there's another overlapping piece of green. There's an overlapping piece of green there, so that will hide the, the mechanism really. Just put a small amount of glue on. Stick it on there. So I've stuck this piece on the top there. This is hiding the mechanism. I need to cut it down so that it's long enough to go over the top edge, but it's short enough that it doesn't crash into the gully down there. There it is. In the book, obviously, you know, it's clever. It's a, it's a locket, so the fact that it's moving is, is fine. That is the unfurling mechanism.